Hey guys, welcome to a, to the a video, to another video today. We're gonna be doing something different today. We're going to be ranking every Skylanders game from worst to best. So, if we unedited, but I played all the games. This is my opinion, so do not hate on me for it. My list might be different from others, but I have mine. So, anyways, let's get into the video. At number six, I think this is going to be a pretty popular one. We have Skylander Superchargers. Reason I don't like it is because of the vehicles. To be honest, I think if you took away the vehicles from this game, and it was literally just called Skylanders, like there was nothing special about it, I would like it better. Because... Some boss fights, in my opinion, just got ruined from the gameplay because you're driving a car in the middle of a boss fight, which to me just ruins the fun of it. And that's really all I have to say for Skylanders Superchargers. Oh, I will add on one thing. I, it's not that I dislike the game because the game was fun, but I like I think all the Skylanders games are good. I just like more better than others. Anyways, number five, this might be a very unpopular decision. Definitely will be. I might, people might get mad at me for this. But at number five, I have Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. Um, two reasons. I just feel like Spyro's Adventure the graphics were not that good. I felt like there definitely could have been less levels. I feel like they just stretched it a bit too much. Like, I felt like they made the the game a bit too long. And also, um, you did not have the ability to jump, which I did not like at all. But still, I definitely rate it better than Superchargers. Um, also, the name is called Spyro's Adventure, but you could literally not play as Spyro the entire game and still beat the game. I guess that was just for marketing, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because they want people to know more of the game. So I'm absolutely fine with that. But it was still a fun game, and I thought it was better than Superchargers. So, number four is Skylanders Imaginators. Pretty popular decision. Reason is, to me, I just did not like the gameplay. Like, some of the things didn't make sense. Like, I'm pretty sure at one point, like, you were facing a guacamole monster and something like that. Like, it felt too childish to me. And the special thing about the game, Skyland, um, making your own, uh, Skylander, I didn't really, I wasn't really using it because, to me, it felt like, I already had, I was already good with like five Skylanders. I didn't need to make another one. So I felt like it was really just too basic and too childish for me. That's why it is not, it is at my number four spot. Number three. I'm gonna have to put Skylander Giants. Skylander Giants, the reason you put it above. Skylanders Spyro's Adventure is because I just felt like the gameplay was much better. The graphics were pretty similar, but I liked the boss fights for Giants better than I did for Spyro's Adventure. I also um, liked the Skylanders better even though they were mostly really the same, but I also, the Giants, I also liked. 
It was not the most useful thing, but it, it's also a pretty good concept because and Spider-Man Spider's Adventure really didn't have anything like that. They just named it so they could get marketing. But Skylander Giants is a really good game. So, now we're in the top two. Number two, I'm gonna, this is very tough, very tough. But my decision is number two is Skylander's Trap Team. Trap Team, like, I really like the traps. I feel like it's very unique. But, like, what is it? I bet I have to go with, okay? Like I was saying, I like how you could play as different um, villains after you beat them. I thought that was very cool. And also you could play as them to save health for your Skylanders. But to me, the reason I don't have it as number one is because I just feel like and this was by, Skylander Trap Team was by far my favorite for, like, boss fights. By far. But the reason it's number two and not number one is because my personal opinion I felt like it was one of the easier games. I forgot to mention that about Giants. I felt like Giants was enough challenging if you put it on hard mode. It was really fun. And I like challenge in my games. And so now number one, you guys know what it is since I named all the other five. Swap Force. Even though most people don't like like people don't really care for like swapping characters even so you can get attacks for the top of your character and the bottom so it'll get you two times more attacks which is really good and um I felt like I loved the starter pack with Wash Buckler, Blast Zone, and Stealth Elf. I liked that starter pack. I, I used all three of them. Also, like, a little next week is going to be my next episode. So that's the ending. Anyways, next week is going to be my next episode. I'm I'm going to be replaying Skylanders Swap Force on the channel. Also Trap Team. I might post some Trap Team videos this week. Who knows? Probably not. Too busy, but... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me guys... Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me. Uh, it's fine if you don't. I think that things that people are, are going to agree with me with is two things. Superchargers was the worst, and that Skylanders Giants was third. I think those are the two things that people are going to agree with me on. Maybe... Um, people would think I should swap um, Spyro's Adventure with I can't even think of the name Imaginators That's that would be more of a popular decision but 
I have my own list, so that's what I think. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.